Hello, welcome back to Evergreen Olivia TV. This episode, I'm just going to show you one of the cheapest investments of light box that I ever did, and this was when I was just starting new. This recording happened probably around two, three years ago, and as you can see, it's just using uh, four sockets of E27 light bulbs. Then it's got two control switches that you can turn on and off and if you want to reduce the intensity of the light you just have to turn it off very manual no so it's either you use two sets of the light bulbs or you use four sets of the light bulbs i think i spent around a total of four or five thousand pesos for this one uh if we convert that into dollars that would be around um let me check hold on so it cost me roughly around 90 to 100 dollars all in all for these two sets of lights then it's got this knob where you can tighten the grip on the light uh, on the stand and then maganda naman yung material no uh, mabigat siya and then may pagka porcelain yung dulo doon sa may socket Doon sa light bulb socket. Uh, it has, I think it was meant to not be too hot no, for a prolonged period of time being used. So, and as you can see, may stand din siyang kasama and comes with a carry on bag. And then it has that cable attached to the uh, light bulb and as uh, attached to the container and as you could see it already siya kasama ng tripods no so i it's a two set of light box ito stand na to ito the tripod na to yung stand uh it's a three legged stand and actually magaan siya um if you compare it to the weight of the light you need a sandbag to be able to hold off the uh, weight of the light and then behind here is actually the bag of the reflectorized fabric that looks like an umbrella and this one is meant to be assembled around the light bulbs so ito yung pinaka reason it's called light box ito yung boxing mechanism yeah so it's made of cloth All right so this one is the in your corners where in this light box contains four sticks that you would have to insert in those areas para magkaroon ng form and shape and then ito namang hawak ko na tela is the diffuser uh, it, it acts more of a it tempers your light from the light bulb mas nagiging neutral yung spread ng light uh, especially when we have to shoot no with the camera na so ito yung clothing so this is not an ordinary natella definitely it's something that can withstand the heat of the light bulb so do not experiment in using just uh, paper or any other material kasi pwede yung masunog to. sa so, matagal na lingas ng ilaw then you've got all this uh, what I'm showing you is basically the edges of this fabric is uh, going to allow you to, to to be able to have it set doon sa corners later dun sa light box At syempre, hindi yan tatawagin light box kung walang ilaw. So ito yung mga bombilya with, from Akari. And I bought 24 watts. Yes, it's actually quite hot when you turn them on. Um, and I bought the fattest light bulbs around because it has the most wattage. So yun yung trick lang no, sa mga LED lights. Uh, the, the wattage has a lot to do with its size. For this one, the higher the wattage and since light bulb siya, it basically has to be uh, 
thicker in width. No, so this one, itong first set, I use the big light bulbs with 24 watts from Akari. And uh, fast forward now, I think uh, it's been with me for two to four years. And it's still working. All right, so we've got three bulbs now inserted here. And as you could see, the higher the wattage, the thicker the light bulb has to be. Kaya nga, uh, yun lang yung trick sa LED. And an appreciate ko dito is mismo yung lalagyan, naka-angle siya because they have an idea that higher wattage requires bigger space. If you're hearing that sound, it's because there's got some ridges there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Let's just make sure they're all tight. Alright. Okay. Okay, so after this one has been completed, then we just have to insert it behind or inside the umbrella like na reflector and after natin na may insert dyan we'll be able to put it right on top of the stand or the tripod Hey now, this one, uh, we're now about to mount it on the stand and it's quite actually heavy in a way, especially with the light bulbs already there and then manipis lang yung stand as you can notice and so after being able to mount it on our stand we will now be able to use it and test out the four bulbs so initially for this one, I used the big one, the big bulbs first. And pagka mount naman ito mga ilaw, we'll be able to move on to the next uh, set of bulbs and light box that I actually bought. So ito, titesting na natin and let's see how it looks like when we turn on the lights. Natin. four bulbs ayun iwanag then if you want to control na mas dim you just turn on the other switch para dalawa lang yung lilinas ayan so this is how it looks like and that's a very much control that you can have it's very manual tedious I don't know it's, it depends on the use case for me it's bearable because I just shoot alone and normally malapit lang ang proximity ko
and after a while this one second set I'm gonna test it uh, it's got smaller or thinner bulbs so I wasn't sure because when I started buying if the light bulbs in in the hardware store as long as it's LED if it's gonna be good enough for video and when I learned a little bit of the specs I opted to still buy it on my own so ito, uh, naka-assemble na naman yung second. So it's fully manual. Then it's got switch. It also comes with a remote control. And let's see if uh, it turns out great when we start opening the lights. Alright, so after setting up the lights, we will now be able to uh, test the smaller light bulbs if it's working great. Ayan, so ito nakasingit siya. And definitely, it is not as big as the other one. Ayan, so I believe with these cheap tools, I'll be able to shoot videos better and have a better light lighting experience for all our viewers. And here we're unboxing another one to demonstrate how helpful the lights are. I think I'm just using one, uh, two lights here. Pero yung isa is yung four bulbs na 24 watts, and then the other one is just 12 watts. I bought a cheap MIDI, pero sa akin hindi ko pa rin to nagagamit na maayos. Uh, quite interesting. This costs just around like 3,000 pesos, but I had difficulty using it. Uh, one time may kind of like a delay Two and, I think it's two and a half octaves or uh, seven, around 21 keys if I'm not mistaken and, yeah and then it's got that pitch control and the marination adapter it's USB type and then after this one oh and you can also store a few sound effects there those pads no so eight sounds and then here, next is demonstration of an ice cream. Yeah. So, fresh from the freezer. And this was from a friend of ours who had a factory. I forgot the name of the ice cream factory. It's got two flavors, chocolate and cheese. And I shot this during pandemic. It's almost a three to four year old video. we have this uh, very cheap drone with camera but I never got to figure it out how to use this I tried to do some flight testing after I opened this but I always uh, seem to not be able to control the drone it's very small it's quite handy it just fits in the palm of your hand it's probably one of the smallest ever you'll able to uh, play with uh, so I I think I just bought this around like 2500 but yes, it's a 
never successfully used it and I think I've lost some of the parts already but for this one I'm just showing a very old video that I did capture right after I got to, to uh, assemble the lights and it's quite decent I was just using a white paper as a background here it's not really a studio background so these are the cheap items that I was able to acquire from the lights, from the MIDI keyboard, from uh, up until to this, a cheap drone. And I think the real lesson here is um, sometimes it's not worth to buy very cheap items, especially for audio or video use, no? Uh, perhaps siguro yung mga middle, uh, mga middle level, mid-level items. But it's the cheapest because at the end of the day, it's just going to be something that you might not end up using, just like what happened to me. Um, for the MIDI, I was just planning to give it to someone since I couldn't find the other cables for that. It's just one USB plug. And then for this one, I'm not sure if it's still complete, but I might just give it away if anyone figures out how to use this one. So this is a drone for DRC. Uh, these are the components that came with it. And uh, as of the moment, after four years, hindi ko pa rin nagagamit. So, ingat-ingat lang, buying cheap items, not everything cheap is worth the budget. Okay, alright, so thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this episode with Evergreen Oliva TV. See you next episode, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!